Good morning students. How are you all? So, in the last class, we started our second chapter, number 1 to 0. And we learned how to count the given number of objects and write their number names. So, today we will start with the new concept of 0. Let's start with the concept. So kids, what does zero means? Zero basically shows no object. If I'm saying I have zero toffee in my hand, that means I have no toffee. I have nothing. So let's do this with few examples. There are three birds sitting on a tree. One bird flew away. How many are left on the tree? Only two. Okay, now one more word, bird wants to, he wants to fly away. He wants to fly in the sky. So he also flew away. See, he's flying now, how many are we left with on the tree? We are left with only one bird on the tree. See, in the beginning, three birds were sitting on the tree. Then two birds were sitting. Now, you can see on the screen, only one bird is sitting. Now, he is very sad. He is missing his friends so he is also flying now okay to meet his friends so now how many birds are left on the tree dear kids zero we started with three birds and now we are left with zero bird on the tree so let's take one more example of Rhea Rhea bought six balloons. Suddenly, wind came and all the balloons. Listen to me carefully. How many balloons? All the balloons flew up in the sky. Rhea ne kitne balloon kari de? Chhe kari de. Aur bohat zor se hawa aai. Aur six balloons hawa mein ud gai. So, Rhea ke paas kitne balloons rahe gaye? Rhea ke paas kitne balloons hai picture mein? Zero. Because Rhea ke paas pehle chhe balloons the. Chhe mein se chhe ur gaye. Kitne bach gaye? Zero. Okay. See, Rhea is left with zero balloon. So, kids, this was the concept of zero. I really hope you all are clear with it. So, we'll meet further with some new concept. Bye for now.